tātou tau katoa. E tau tuko ana hau ngā mihi kua mihia, a ngā poroporo aki kia rātou kua hipatu i te tātou a hine nui te pō, hoki mai kia tātou ngā kanohi ora, ngā waihotanga iho o rātou mā, ngā kai kawe, a ngā tikanga me ngā tūmanako me ngā reo o rātou a mā mātou hei whai. Tēnā koutou. Tēnā koutou e haramai i rungi te pōhiri ki a hui tahi ai tātou ahakoa mō tēnei wā poto. Engari i rungi te mōhio he tīmatanga tēnei mō tēnei toru tau. Ākuni, ka haere atu au ki o rohe, te kōrero, te whakarongo, te mahi ngā tahi, me koutou i roto i o koutou ake rohe. Ko taku whakaaro, ka eke au ki rongi i tēnei tūranga, he tūranga taumaha, Engari, he tūranga hihi te henengaro tino hihiko te ngākau me te wairua. Me taku mōhio, me mahi tahi tātou, kia kore e tino taumaha mō tētahi hei kawe, hei waha. A kuni ka haere au ki te hui me ngā iwi o te mōna nui a kiva, Kei te mōhio koutou e rua aku pōtai mō te mātauranga mō ngā āhuatanga hoki e pāna ki o tātou tuākana taina o ngā motu o te mōna nui a kiwa. A muri o tērā ka haere a hau ki ngā rohe, te kōrero ki ngā hea mana o ngā pōari kura, te kōrero ki ngā kai pākihi, te kōrero ki ngā kai kawe, kōrero hopu pikitia rānei i roto i ena rohe. Kia rongo kato rātau, taku kōrero, aku wero, aku kōkiri, kia rātau, kia tātau katoa, kia tāe e tātau tēnei kōrero, e kōrero hia nei i te ata nei, kia rewa ake, kia piki ake, kia eke, wā tātou tamariki mōhopona ki runga i o rātou huarahi pai me te māro o te haere no te mea kua whiwhi e rātou, wā rātou, passport, wā rātou, tohu, mātauranga kia taia e rātou te tūrangatirai i roto i tēnei whenua a tāhua o Aotearoa. Nā reira, koe rā taku tino tūmanako, nau mai, nau mai, haere mai. I'd like to acknowledge my parliamentary colleagues, my brothers in arms, the Minister of Māori Affairs, Dr Sharples, the Minister also, or Associate Minister of Māori Education, he and I have much to do together and there will be times when we do them separately and times when we do them um, together as we are this morning. But wherever we are around the country on any of these issues, we will be speaking as one even if we are um, explaining our aspirations in different words. We both share an absolute commitment to making a difference in the three years that we have been gifted by you um, to do this work. I want to also acknowledge my other brother, Te Ururoa, um, in the House, around Parliament and around the country. I often get little texts or emails advising me on how I could quickly help uh, in particular areas, and I appreciate that very much. Um, and I'd like to acknowledge that we have with us our newish, newish Secretary of Education, Leslie Longstone. She will be um, uh, taking the opportunity to speak directly with you this morning. And over here on the left, uh, we have a number of the organisations that are peak bodies within the education sector and which I consider it important that they uh, be along here this morning. So we have um, NZQA, we have Aero, I think we have representation from the Teachers' Council, from Education New Zealand, Therapia from Learning Media, um, from Careers New Zealand, 
uh, and of course I'm discovering more and more uh, people that I've known from different parts of my life now are my slaves in the Ministry of Education. So um, it's wonderful that they are all here today um, to hear what we have to say to one another and to quickly identify how they can propel up their efforts so that we might get swifter change and measurable gain in all the work that we have ahead of us. And you, I'd like to thank all of you for the work that you have been doing, many of you for many a long year, many of you more recently. You who are engaged in direct partnerships with the Ministry of Education, but more particularly engaged in direct partnerships with your own iwi. And I'd like to thank you for the work that you do there every day in every way, uh, juggling multiple hats, often never satisfying anyone. It's a feeling that I can relate to. And however, it just pushes us to try harder, to aspire more, and to be tougher as we go about this wonderful uh, challenge we have of providing the opportunity for our young people to be successful. So thank you for the work you do, and thank you for the work that you will continue to do and that I look forward to supporting you with. Thank you to the Iwi Forum that um, presented uh, their proposal to the Prime Minister last week. Oh, was it only so, such a short time ago that we enjoyed the hospitality of the North? Um, presented to, to the Prime Minister a number of very compelling challenges, key amongst which is how we can exponentially raise our combined efforts to address real outcomes for Māori students. Um, I do not have specific responses to those specific proposals, but I am asking the Ministry of Education to work with you quickly to identify a plan of action so that we can tick those off. There are ones amongst those proposals that I want to question, and I look forward to the opportunity to have that discussion to understand what is proposed and which parts of it are properly the responsibility of the government, which parts of it are properly the responsibility of iwi, and which parts are ones that we should do together. And so that is a discussion I look forward to. So thank you all very much for being here today. It is the beginning, as I've just said, of a very active community engagement program that I'm setting off on, because I want to be sure that everyone who is involved with this work understands that we have different but complementary <coughs> roles to play. So while my remarks this morning are going to be directed at you, I will be out talking to boards, to the New Zealand School Trustees Association, with whom I've already met. I will be out talking to um, uh, peak organisations, and I have met many of them from the early childhood sector, primary, secondary, and into um, the marvellous and very clear vocational pathway work that is um, underway at present. So this morning my focus is very much on what can be our joint collaboration. It does not ignore that there is a profession out there, that there are governance arrangements, that there are other participants, and I will also be talking to them. Because Aotearoa New Zealand is a first world nation. We have first world aspirations, and in order to deliver on those, we need a first world economy. We need economy, an economy that grows the productivity of our people and our resources, that allows us to compete smartly where we are a, but a very small player in the global enterprise. We live uh, out here in the middle of the beautiful Pacific. We live in the Southern Hemisphere. We have to be able to be nimble and alert and see and take all of the opportunities that our minds and perspicacity make available to us. And in order to do that, we have to take the most advantage of the resources we have available to us. Our natural resources of land and water, and our cultural resources of people and diversity. And the many languages and identities and thinking technologies 
that you and they bring. Because one of the biggest gifts of culture is that we think differently. And therein lies innovation. We talk often about innovation. In my view, innovation is simply putting known ingredients together in a different recipe. And that can most often happen when we are having diverse conversations with people who come from different worldviews and look at the world around us through different lenses. Or it's about using new ingredients that come from our cultural uh, crucible of, of genetic and cultural difference that we can bring to the discussion of how do we become a smarter nation, how do we develop that most important resource of all, the one that lives at the most powerful address of all, and that is the one between our two ears. This is where located the most powerful, the most potent, the most transformational resource any one of us and our children will ever have. This is the address that we live at all of our lives. So we need to make it the most vibrant, the most dynamic, the most open to knowledge and learning, the most acquiring of skills and opportunities. And we need to ensure that we make that available to our children and to our uri whakatipu. Um, and so to realise that potential, we need a world-class education system. A system that is able to respond to the challenges of a 21st century. A system that is able to underpin learning communities and lifelong learning pathways. A system that is open and responsive and performance oriented and that understands that one size does not fit all and nor should it because it robs us then of the very richness of diversity that I have been speaking about. We know that it does work for nearly everyone, our, our nearly world-class education system. We want to be able to proclaim that not only is it world-class, but it's world-leading. And there are many features that put it on the cusp of becoming that. But it needs to be pinched and pushed and nudged if we are to get the performance and the service that all New Zealand students expect, entitled to and deserve. And so while it works very well for about 80% of our students, it is not serving well about 20%. And too many of those that it is not serving well are Māori, Pacifica, come from low-income homes or have special needs. And so we have a dual challenge ahead of us. The first is to make sure that we can continue to improve and do better what we are already doing. And the concurrent challenge is to change those parts of the system that are not doing well for our children across the country. So it isn't one or the other, it is both improving the significant features of our um, education system to do better, and it is about changing those parts that aren't working as well so that they in turn can not only do better for that 20%, but through a virtuous cycle, improve constantly the entire system. At that point, we will be able to proclaim that not only do we have a world-class education system, but let's make it a world-leading education system.